Hi everyone, this is Suvarov and today we have a new event coming on which is a Korean event for the release of the game in Korea um, So basically it looks like um, the kind of events that we have you know when there are special holidays, special days, things like that where you have two parts of the event with the wheel to get uh, good prices and it's a bit like this um, and it's a little bit based on uh, one of the most famous Korean uh, leaders uh, so if I'm not mistaken uh, I could be but since uh, I saw the emphasis on ships uh, I believe this is the admiral who destroyed the Japanese fleet after uh, well during the Sengoku Jidai when Toyotomi Hideyoshi decided to invade Korea with uh, 200,000 uh, samurai and this guy destroyed um, the Japanese fleet and this could lead, this would lead in the end uh, Korea to victory um, so yeah this is uh, the hero that we're getting um, and right from the start, this new hero, uh, he has a, a combo uh, with um, Hannibal and it will increase uh, one of their skills that they both have, um, so yeah. Uh, but that being said, let's just check the event. So first off, like uh, um, most of the event like this, we get a pack, special pack. So I, I got the first one because it was interesting. Um, so you get uh, speed ups, you get a good amount of resources, um, you will get uh, a special frame um, and you get also some pieces of wood and some sailing flags. Okay, so as the other events uh, on this kind um, it, uh, the event is divided in two parts. The first part is uh, some kind of quest that you must do daily to, and they will change um, so that you can retrieve special mods to move on this chart. Okay? Um, so, here you will earn uh, basically uh, shipbuilding materials, so some uh, wood. And here it was all about defeating barbarians, getting resources, and training soldiers. Which is very good, because, well, um, it matches some of the events that we have today in the Desert War. So, um, basically, by doing those, you would also push toward the ones um, in the Desert War. So, great, very great. So from this you can, uh, as usual, unlock quite a good amount of different type of rewards. Uh, mostly speed ups, um, some stamina, some chest, uh, and some mods for the heroes, uh, whatever the type. And at the end you will unlock um, a new uh, camp and a new town hall. Um, so we can go and check what they do. Um, so here, I think it's this one. Okay, so this one will give you a good defense and some attack of all units. Not too shabby, honestly, not fantastic. And then you have uh, this one, I think it's this one. Um, I think it's this one, and then it will give you an attack of all units. Um, so the all units part is, is interesting, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm not saying, but I think it's this one. Uh, 
Yeah, that is, this is this one. Okay. Um, so we get uh, an all attack, uh, uh, all unit uh, attack and defense with those. Um, so this is interesting, uh, but it's also note the, the best uh, numbers, but it's all units. Okay, so uh, it can be interesting. L let's be honest, it can be interesting if you couldn't get some of the other stuff that would do that, um, especially if you're not a big pay to play player. Um, but I do prefer uh, the ones that will match my main troop. So then, uh, as usual, you get the four objectives each day to gain um, the other kind of maps that you will use to uh, do your uh, will, okay, to get the rewards, except that um, we don't have a will right now. So first off, you get a free, um, a free attempt every day. Uh, now, so basically, you have to sail and uh, try to survive, and with a computer, that's not so great. And you get to try to take the chest, and we did it. We are getting to the finish line, and so we get chest. And I don't know if you have seen, but uh, from here I could get two badges of Yi Su Sin, and I will get even more. Uh, well. Uh, even more. So that would mean that at the end, when I finish the event, uh, Yi Susin will be unlocked. So that's that's pretty dope, to be honest. That's pretty dope. Um, that they let us get this hero uh, like this for free, uh, completely for free, and through an event that is completely free to play. Uh, friendly, so yeah, thank you very much. Um, so let's go what we could get from uh, those chests. So we have 30 chests, and we see that we can get mythic hero badges, fantastic, bones, speed up items, and XP book. So basically, we're getting the same things than with the wheel, okay? It's the exact same thing that you could get with the wheels. Um, except that this time you have to try to navigate your way with your ship uh, and avoid getting wrecked uh, on um, uh, on the rocks. Um, because if you're not, you will become, uh, become a wreck. <laughs> so let's just open the bags. And okay, uh, I mean, I still got six of them, uh, a few speed ups, but I didn't get any of the of the badges. Uh, earlier today, um, I opened just a few ones from the free attempt, and uh, so I had five of them, and I did got uh, a legendary badge. So you you can actually get them. <laughs> you can actually get them. Okay, so. Last but not least, let's check a look at this hero that um, we will have a chance to unlock. So where is this guy? He's here. So we see his leadership, so it will be an army hero. Siege, skill, okay. So basically in the same realm of um, Anibal and Frederick. So let's, let's check a look at his skills. Okay, so deal direct damage up to five enemies within the fan-shaped range. For each additional unit, the scale damage will be reduced. So that's as usual, but it's a, uh, an AOE with quite a nice damage. Uh, it's quite nice damage, to be, uh, to be honest. 
for an AoE one. Um, then we got Navy Martyr, attack of all unit led, uh, so it will be up to 15% when awakened. Um, then it will increase death, uh, defense, and HP. This is huge. This is really huge. This is a fantastic passive. This is really great. For any kind of troop, this is really great. I love it. I really love it. Um, endurance. When being attacked, there is a 10% chance to reduce the damage by 20% for the next 3 seconds. Uh, and the damage reduction will go up to 15%. And it can be triggered at most once every 5 seconds. So, um... This is yes and no. <laughs> um, yes, because it is for three seconds that you get a damage reduction, which can be quite nice. The damage reduction by 50% is huge. Um, but it's 10%, you know. Uh, it's not a lot. But if it triggers at the right time, it can really save your trip. Because, for example, if it triggers at the, let's say, at the 11 second, it can protect you from all the, the big attacks, all the rage attacks from the enemy troop. And this can be huge. But you are not in control at all of this. You can't control when it will happen. And even if it will happen, because it's, it's completely random. Sometimes you could be lucky. And it could proc very, uh, very often, and you could be unlucky, and it wouldn't proc at all. So mm, I don't know. It's uh, up to everyone to, to choose whether to use those skills or not. Battle of Anson Island. When attacking garrison, the final damage dealt is increased by up to twenty-five percent. So um, yeah, for attacking garrison, if it works. Um, then we got a troop size bonus. So it's a troop size bonus. We don't have uh, a rally size bonus, okay? Which is so sad. But the troop size bonus is indeed interesting. It's better than the one of Frederick. Naval command. When the remaining soldiers are higher than fifty percent. The damage dealt is increased by 8% when the remaining soldiers are below, the damage received is reduced. So, this is a very interesting skill because it means that while your troop is strong, you will deal huge damage, and when you are starting to get low on troops, then you will receive less damage and you will be tanky. This is super interesting. This is really super interesting, and the, the bonuses are quite good, okay? 20% uh, uh, when awakened is very nice, especially when it comes to damage reduction. It's really, really nice. Uh, very good, very good. And then your troop skill damage plus 16%, which um, every AoE uh, attack commanders do have uh, a skill damage bonus. Um, and so here it's up to 40%. Um, and so what we have here for the potential is attack of all units and HP of all units. And so I said that this hero could be paired with Hannibal and uh, it will increase uh, the effect of war God, of God of War. Um, so the damage of basic attack will be increased and the damage of skills will be increased as well. So you will deal more damage with uh, normal attacks and way more damage also from the big attacks. Uh, which means that uh, it will add to both Hannibal and him. So yeah, very good, very good. Although, um, clearly, this guy has been meant to lead a troop and not, um, not to lead a rally, for example. 
because of the troop size thingy. Uh, but you you could you could lead a rally with him uh, without any problem. Um, so yeah, that's a new hero. Um, I like him. I really like him so uh, so far. Um, even though I will maybe not be pushing him uh, right away. Um, because I have other heroes to, to be pushing for, but um, yeah, so far I'm quite impressed with uh, what they did because it's not game-changing like they used to do uh, with some of the heroes from Desert War, but it's still an interesting skill set um, with nice tactical options from him, so yeah, good job. And that was it for this uh, Korean uh, launch event. Uh, and so welcome to Korean players uh, on the game. I hope you will enjoy Game of Empires. So far I am enjoying it. So yeah, I'll see you in game. Cheers all.